good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for Thursday's trading session, the 10th of November 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. And you can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, let's see exactly where we are. Okay, the market at present is certainly um, short squeezing higher constantly on the back of this potential stimulus talk. We've had Asian markets higher overnight. Although I did, ex I, well, with a with rally from the S&P from 2040 up to 20, uh, 2180 now, one would presume that the, uh, the markets had certainly factored in the uh, potential stimulus and that certainly hasn't been the case okay the market certainly isn't doing that the market certainly is focused on, on other things uh, at present so pretty impressive or well, to say the least okay pretty impressive to say the least okay so markets at present their fixation their focus certainly seems to be on the uh, potential stimulus that's coming from uh, mr trump although i would argue and i certainly will continue to argue that the majority of that certainly is baked in okay is baked into the market i'm just looking at the chart of copper at the moment we are now facing potential resistance in this zone okay if we continue to go higher then the next zone is at uh, the 200 ma but the given the fact that uh, we have um, mr trump confirming that uh, miss yellen will certainly be left to uh, uh, to her own vices uh, and uh, mr evans uh, stating that the uh, the fed is on path to protect uh, well not potentially but actually raise rates in december everything is in motion so a uh, uh, rate rise will certainly hurt global markets as we all know especially emerging markets and that will have a knock-on effect uh, on each and every potential index okay then you are looking at risk aversion there uh, given the fact that mr trump's presidency creates a lot of unknowns as opposed to knowns even though we are now focusing on stimulus we will need to go back to normality and start to focus on the potential uh, errors that could uh, certainly um, unravel uh, and obviously the scandals and so on and so forth so whether or not this individual is competent enough to actually lead uh, america lead the western world again it, it certainly comes into question as again okay and who are who's willing to work with this chap as well and whether he can whether he actually has any any policy um, uh, initiatives and and whether they can actually uh, be put in motion so from my perspective too many question marks to actually uh, commit to any uh, potential uh, rally in the market it certainly seems to be uh, overextended from my understanding but the market certainly has defied my analysis okay let's bring up the uh, the actual s p 500 uh, i certainly was expecting this resistance here to hold okay at 2150 certainly was expecting that to hold that failed if you look at the fib retracement ratio from fib low to high i was expecting 38 sorry 50 61 75 percent to hold again i was proven wrong i was expecting 2154 to hold again was proven wrong i was expecting gap fill to hold at 2163 again proven wrong uh, i was expecting resistance to hold at 2170 again proven wrong okay and now i'm expecting resistance to hold at 2177 and 2181 Will I be proven wrong? I mean, it's, it's as a trader, you have to rely on your resistance levels. That's literally your bread and butter, okay? You work off support and resistance. When you have a vertical move from the likes of 2083 all the way up to 2180, a 100-point move on the S&P 500, what can you do as a trader? You just have to accept your stop loss being hit and basically move on to your next trade. That's literally what you have to do. So certainly a negative week for me this week. Certainly negative, very, very negative for me. Uh, certainly bearish. Uh, my trading account certainly bearish this week, uh, as it was last week as well. So certainly very hard from an intermarket analysis perspective, and even as a day trader, because we rely on support and resistance. And when they no longer hold, then we become vulnerable. Okay, and that certainly is a situation at present. Okay, so I'm expecting resistance to here to hold at 2177, 2181, and then we'll see exactly what happens thereafter. Okay, folks. Right. Uh, in terms of the European markets. Let's discuss the actual uh, fundamentals this morning. First of all, uh, we, earnings. Okay, earnings from the likes of uh, we had uh, AstraZeneca bearish, uh, we had uh, Vedanta bearish, we had Hikma bearish. So certainly uh, bias bearish. Okay, in terms of uh, earnings this morning, uh, we have had the Siemens that is stronger and Zurich that's stronger. So again, that certainly is helping Europe to a large extent and keeping European equities afloat. I think that's one of the reasons. And also given the fact that uh, the dollar certainly is surging and the euro certainly moving lower as well. So a lot of factors at play here. A lot of factors at play. Okay, so 
Okay, so a lot of factors at play. In terms of uh, your Asian markets this morning, let's just uh, go over the Asian markets. You have uh, the Nikkei down, negative. Uh, the Chinese market certainly pushing higher, even though we have had stronger inflation and weaker imports and exports, which is kind of surprising. But that's the Asian market for you, okay? In terms of uh, technicals, let's just bring up the technicals now, folks. The German DAX certainly is back into resistance. We've certainly taken out that FIB 75%. We have a unfilled gap left behind. That's one hell of a surge yesterday, okay? So, <laughs> I mean, that's one hell of a surge, a 450-point uh, green rally, okay? So, you're back into resistance on the uh, German DAX. Very unlikely for us to, uh, uh, obviously, surpass that, especially given the fact that we've had uh, weaker uh, French data as well this morning. Industrial output certainly weaker than expected, although non-farm payroll certainly coming slightly uh, slightly stronger, okay? So, industrial production certainly coming in on the weaker side. We do have the Euro USD now potentially back into support, so watch out for... Uh, for a uh, sell-off in equities, again, Euro USD, you have support 1.085, one hell of a sell-off post uh, Trump, okay, so uh, Euro USD currently into that zone. Uh, if we break this support level, then you are looking at the next level, which is here, okay, which is currently at uh, 108, 1.089495. But from my understanding, Euro USD certainly is looking to potentially hold this double bottom and start to push higher. The, given the fact that the uh, presidential election hasn't caused major ripples in global markets, uh, equity markets are stable. Uh, given the fact that uh, the Fed and Miss Yellen is going to keep, or Miss Yellen is going to keep her, her position, um, it certainly seems very unlikely that uh, we will uh, actually um, fail to get a rate hike. Uh, from my understanding, fail to get a rate hike in uh, in actual December. So if the rate hike goes ahead. Okay, the rate hike goes ahead. Spare me one second. Let me just clean this up for you. The level has dropped quite drastically. Okay, that should be better now. Okay, so given the fact that we are going to get a, um, a rate hike in December, then it's going to be unlikely that uh, that the ECB is going to enact QE. And if the ECB is not going to enact QE, then that's actually bearish for global equities. Okay, so again, there's, there's multiple uh, factors that you have to uh, consider here. So Euro USD is certainly into support, okay. German DAX is coming is on the daily chart is into resistance. So the Euro, given the fact there's an inverse relationship, Euro is going to rally, German DAX is going to fall. That's my understanding, okay. 60 minute chart, the German DAX, again, it's been a very, very impressive rally. Very, very impressive. You are looking at a gap fill below at 10,650. You do have resistance and resistance above. So for my understanding, risk off on the German DAX, okay. Uh, even, I mean, given the fact that we've had stronger um, earnings as well, that certainly confirms the fact that the German DAX is going to be uh, looking at a potential top here and looking to reverse. That's my understanding, folks, okay? That is my understanding at present. Okay, so German DAX, my understanding, certainly bearish. French CAC, again, daily chart. You are into resistance, folks, okay? You do have a gap at 4640 and 4670 if we do continue to move higher but from my understanding french cac certainly into resistance one of the reasons why i say that is because the weekly chart certainly is very bearish this is where we started to flush okay and this is a solid solid resistance level okay daily chart again is into resistance looking at the 60 minute chart a potential topping tail on fill gap below market certainly needs to reverse from my understanding 10 minute chart again looking at risk aversion 